A family owned restaurant and staple in North St. Louis just can't get a break. Crown Candy Kitchen, known for its dipped chocolates and lunch sandwiches, was once again the target of vandals overnight. Five on your side's Travis Cummings looks into this history of vandalism and theft that's impacted the neighborhood. It's frustrating. Andy Karanzov's been up since the crack of dawn at Crown Candy Kitchen, cranking out chocolate. My uh, early morning bacon fryer came in and said, uh, do you want some help? And I thought, well, what are you talking about? Someone smashed in the restaurant's front door Thursday with a crowbar. The thief got away with $10. They also took my cash drawer, so now I have to drive up to North County to my register people and get a drawer. This fourth generation restaurant has been a staple in St. Louis for more than a century. This crime for them, unfortunately, isn't new. We had a couple of young kids throw a big old piece of rock through uh, the, the front door. Crown Candy isn't the only victim in this. Neighboring businesses on each corner say they've dealt with similar issues like theft and car break-ins in their parking lots. Veronica Holden's operated La Manche Coffee House for 11 years. Her shop's been broken into twice. So there is that sense of someone you know, breaking into your safe space um, and then just it always makes such a mess. Holden's biggest problem is that the people committing the crimes have done it before. She hopes for improved prosecution. We do want to see some accountability for, you know, us being victims and, you know, repeatedly having this happen and there not really being any kind of consequences. Despite the hardship, these businesses are still serving their customers and receiving their support in return. That, yeah, that's the positive. Travis Cummings, five on your side. Crown Candy Kitchen will cl closed early today because of the weather, but they say they'll be getting the glass replaced and they will be back to business as usual tomorrow.